You've totally got to meet my mate James, he's literally insane. Kind of way. not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. getting eaten by that cloudy pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd gotten out, but it had taken a long time. to insult him or question his unique disregard for Newtonian laws. Hey, Jimmy, where are you going? Up! idea why he was here. One minute he was with his friends, the next he was being freed from a cage by a green guy with a nervous laugh. 
he knew he had to get back to them. His turquoise hero seemed uncomfortable. Thomas imagined he'd feel the same way if he fell upwards all the time. If he didn't know better, he'd have thought James didn't want to meet everyone. Thomas, working together, could get anywhere. James didn't seem to understand the immense ability he possessed. wondered why the cloud thing had brought them both here. to each portal. He knew that eventually they'd find the others and then he'd go back to being the weird one again. He decided to enjoy the time they had left.
why did Thomas even want to spend time with James? Was he not repulsed by his weird colour? his inversions? wizened head back and laughed. <laughs> the quadrilaterals were apparently after some friends of theirs. How petty an adventure. she could only hope they might understand, of the fountain of wisdom, the channel through which all data flowed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sarah could leap in the very air itself. She was like an eagle or a flea. More, more like an eagle. She had vowed long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. That she, Sarah, would know how to... The Red One, who spoke wisely for a lesser, offered Sarah their help. So long as she then helped them save their friends. He said that he too had wondered at the secrets of this world and would quite like a go on the Wisdom Fountain. That was okay. Sarah marvelled at his foolishness, but accepted his help. possibilities of the outer world. She had heard legends of a third dimension. Perhaps she'd encounter one of those curves the blind square had spoken of. Truly weak creatures. They possess heart, though. Sarah might consider taking them with her, if they were up to it, which they were probably not. Sarah sensed the presence of the fountain. Just one more portal to go, and then she would have the knowledge. And then, escape!
Thomas looked at the glowing beam. That list he'd been writing seemed pretty petty now. This? Well, this was all knowledge. All of it. Right in front of him. He was sorry Sarah couldn't step into it too. He could tell she felt the same way. From the shouting. And the screaming. Thomas was connected to the internet for 12 seconds, and he had seen everything. He'd seen the cat who couldn't spell, he'd heard of the arrow through the knee. He felt there was probably a thing called cake, but that it was a lie. To do. He hoped the others would understand. They were just beyond the next portal. They'd been trapped permanently from the moment the clouds ate them. He explained this to the others. It was impossible to gauge their reaction. After all, they were just rectangles.
was deflated. She'd not even got close to the fountain. She could tell from the earnest expression on Thomas that the information it had imparted was clearly important. Sarah knew her destiny was now to support him. could not accept that this had all been futile. She was a superhero. There had to be a way. Not for her to get out. Red had been pretty clear on that, but... There must be thousands of other AIs up there, unaware of their situation. Was there a way to help them?
his friends to the creation matrix, the system which generated the worlds up above. He had a plan. They were going to redesign the world. That's what the humans did. They changed the world to suit them. Why couldn't they do the same?
Chris was sceptical. He knew his abilities would be of no use to anyone, but Laura smiled at him. And immediately, he knew he had to do everything he could to help them get there. born special. She understood that now. She was created to help others. If her bounce could be passed on, then this would all have been worthwhile. Thomas liked the idea of being an architect. He wanted to modify the world to help others. He was sick of these contrived spaces, these intentionally obtuse paths and puzzles. He'd do things differently. He'd empower the AIs above. jumps were dwarfed by Sarah. For the first time in his life he felt humbled, not as good as someone else. He realized that he wanted to make every AI up there feel as heroic as he had. He liked the sound of that.
James still felt weird. But he realised now that everyone else was too. They were a crew of weirdos. Weirdness that would save all the normals up above. The other AIs would escape them. We'd all be down to seven rectangles with very different relationships to gravity. Fillion, or a Transformer. He'd never get to visit Gotham City or eat at movies. It didn't matter. If he and his friends jumped into the creation matrix, they could give everyone else in the simulation a chance to.
shape in front of him hinted at a possibility. Wow, he couldn't do that before. Settled here. They'd not seen another AI for many cycles, and she liked it that way. She saw Sam leap into the shifter with fear. letting him do this. It was dumb. It was awesome, obviously, but why? They seemed to be leading him up. Up and to the right. <laughs> Joe wished Sam would stop. This was just like the time with the pixel clouds. They hadn't seen any for a while. He was always running off like this. <laughs> Sam was sorry, and he tried to calm Joe down. He couldn't explain why he felt this way. He just knew somewhere else he should be. occurred randomly. 
they had been created. They set off. to the old man. The shifters had been placed in the world by the architects, AIs who sacrificed themselves to fuel their escape. There was an outer world, a world beyond the confines of their universe. to like her newfound abilities. Maybe Sam had done the right thing after all. It was getting a bit chilly though. old man behind. He had to get to this exit. He had to be the one to get out. A whole world to himself. He had to get there before anyone else did.
first Grey. He should never have told him. He had to get to the other AIs of the world, warn them about Grey. Stop him. Sam saw Grey across the gap. He waved them over. He seemed, well, nice. They helped him to the next portal.